everybody it is tanya thrifty treasures welcome to another video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing my ebay sales for the month of february 2018 so i'm going to go ahead and get right into that and screen share hey adam adam is here i was worried that you guys weren't going to be able to see because i didn't see anyone in the chat so adam let me know if you can hear me and see me okay i hope <laughs> and crafty resellers here hello and Maggie Doodle, hey, and Aaron Marcus, hey, everybody. And Bonnie's here, hey, Bonnie. Awesome, I'm so glad you guys are joining me. Yeah, because like when I first hit the start button, there wasn't anybody here. I was like, oh, and Tiff's Thrifts and Margo, Florida's Hidden Treasures and Thrifty Chick, hello. Okay, good, thanks, Adam. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna be sharing my um, sales for the month of February. I didn't have um, a ton of sales, but I did have a good little handful. So I thought I'd come on and uh, do a quick little sales update for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen share. Okay, there goes my other bird clock, y'all. Can you hear it? Hello, Why Nuts Hidden Treasures. Hello, and Fran. Hey, I'm so glad you caught me live. Yay. Okay, so here is a, um, this is an audiobook. It was actually on cassette, if you can believe that. And I had purchased this last summer uh, in a big group of uh, media that I had bought for like $40. And so this might have cost a quarter, and it sold for $14.99. Okay, wait, I'm on the wrong window here. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> okay, let me get my window straight because I'm looking at the window y'all are looking at. Wait, okay. So hopefully the uh, window still looks good for you guys. Okay, so here is my next sale. Let me see if it looks good for you guys. Okay, hopefully y'all are seeing that okay. Let me come back over here. So this is a vintage Lapis Celestial Sun Tierra Crown Charm Bracelet Gold Tone. I had had this bracelet for some time. I really don't even remember how much I paid for it. I've had it for so long. But it did sell. I got a best offer for $32. So I was happy to see it go. And this is another one of those um, sales or, or uh, items rather to where the item did have a defect. It was missing a stone. So I kind of noted that here. And this picture, I use Snapchat to do that, you guys. But now you can nowadays you can use, you know, markup on your phone. Like I said, this was a pretty, pretty old item. So a really cool looking bracelet. Okay, I'm trying to look at the chat on my phone because it's hard for me to see when I'm screen sharing like this. Okay, so I'm just going to close these out as I go. The next item is um, an Ann Klein France Lionhead Vintage Hair Barrette Clip Gold Tone Couture. So <clears throat> this wasn't actually marked Ann Klein, but a lot of the early stuff I'm finding is not marked. I mean, let me know if you guys have found something different. But yeah, so I had it up for $39.91, and that's what it sold for. So definitely keep an eye out for the uh, Lionhead you know, jewelry, whether it's earrings or necklaces and even hair bricks. So they'll definitely sell. Okay. Uh, the next item is just a DVD. I picked this up probably for 99 cents at Goodwill. It sold for... Oopsie, hopefully y'all didn't hear that. I've got to figure out how to disconnect my MacBook <laughs> from my iPhone because I get text on here, I get phone calls on here, it drives me nuts. Um, hello, let's be happy thrifter, welcome. Adam says great pictures. Oh, thanks Adam. Okay, so, but this one, this Yu-Gi-Oh, that one's a stock photo. So yeah, $9.99 free shipping, so I didn't make a ton of profit there. The thinking behind that when I picked it up was I was probably gonna get more for it and then got home and realized I wasn't going to so I went ahead and listed it anyway though to get my money back and here is a vintage Jeep Collins large, large star necklace pendant brass silver sterling silver so this is like I've sold a two you know like two or three of these pieces now and they're definitely collectible you want to pick them up if you see them 
So this one I had up for $63 and I got a best offer for 50. So that was a really great strong offer. So I took that for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let me show you the maker's mark. Oops, let's see, right there. You can see it says stir. Over here it says brass. And then if you can see this little bitty, I want to point to it with my finger, but I know you can't see it. It says looks like a J. And then almost looks like a little house with a C on the other side, Jeep Collins. So definitely uh, a jewelry maker you want to be on the lookout for. Uh, the next one is now you guys might have seen some of these sales like on the uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. I do member profits and I also share my sales too. So if some of these sales look familiar to you, that might be why. So I sold this uh, rare vintage Joan Rivers QVC gold tone long statement necklace with keys. And this ne necklace was so cool. I really almost kept it for myself. Uh, it was just a little bit heavy for me. But there is uh, the maker's mark there. You can see it says Joan Rivers. So anytime you see Joan Rivers piece, pieces out in the field, you guys always pick those up. That always sell. Like I picked up some clip earrings too for three dollars each, and they all sold for about you know twenty five dollars per pair. So definitely a good pickup. Um, hello, Kelly Serrano. She says, "Where is the best? Where is best to find comps for my jewelry?" I suggest going on eBay and looking at the uh, completed the solds auctions and just uh, search that way. Also, WorthPoint is a really great resource, too. Thanks, Fran. And, oh, I don't want to chop your name up. Ex Exima Mendoza is here. Hi, first time catching you live. Hello, welcome. Uh, so let me show you. Yeah, and I think I paid maybe $4 for the necklace. I think I paid $3 for the earrings I bought when I bought this and about 4 or $5 for the necklace. So did I did I not say <laughs> this also sold for fifty dollars? So I got a best offer for fifty dollars. I had it up for seventy nine, and it did sell for fifty. So, oh gosh, Adam says every time he hears Maker's Mark, he thinks of bourbon. <laughs> that sounds like something my husband would say. He likes that Maker's Mark uh, liquor. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, um, He Man, He Man, He Mina. Hopefully, that's how you say it. That's how you pronounce it. No worries. I came over from the resale killers. Oh, okay, cool. I hope I didn't interrupt the killers live. I was all set to go live, and then my son says, Mom, will you take me to my friend's house? And I was like, Oh, you know, because I didn't think anyone was live at the time. And then when I came back home, I just sat down and hit the go live button and forgot to check. So, hopefully, I didn't. Um, interrupt their stream. I hope I didn't. Okay, so next cell, oops, forgot to scroll down on this one, is a pair of ladies Italian shoemakers pink brown buckle size 10 wedge sandals. These I had up for $24.99 and I got a best offer for $15.99. And I think I picked these up at a garage sale for like a dollar or two. So super cute, fun shoes for spring and summer. Love to sell the shoes. Uh, the next three items I'm going to be showing you, uh, somebody bought three Tommy Bahama shirts for me, Hawaiian shirts, and they all sold for right at about $20, I believe. The total for all three shirts was $69.73. Uh... Hello, Murphy the Esky. Okay, so I get distracted, you guys, when I look at the chat. <laughs> but don't we all, right? Okay, so I love this Tommy Bahama shirt. I love all the Hawaiian shirts. Like, if I was a guy, I would be wearing Hawaiian shirts every day. They're just, they're so fun. I love all the colorful, bright prints. And uh, they're, they look to be super, 
comfy too. So there is the clothing tag there. So you guys can see what it looks like. This is a great brand to pick up. Hey, Kayla H, welcome. And Thrifty Paper Garden, Julie, hello, welcome. So, uh, so this one, and then the next one they bought was this one. This one is a uh, more of a palm frond floral pattern. And um, always experimenting with my pictures, you guys. Of course, everyone would like to have a pretty nice white background. But for me, with clothing, it's really hard to master. So I know my friend Andy, the parrot head picker, and Lonnie's getting really good at it too, uh, getting those nice white backgrounds with your pictures. So there's another picture of the tag. And where did I get these? I want to say I probably paid up for these. I probably paid like $5.99 at Goodwill for these. So, and then the last one they bought, oopsie, scroll down, is this one here. Men's Tommy Bahama Floral Hawaiian shirt. Uh, this picture I took outside. And look at my dirty patio there. It needs to be, uh, what's the word called? You know, you get that, I'm drawing a blank now. Um, pressure washed. <laughs> we have to pressure wash the patio all the time because it gets like uh, mold on it like that. But yeah. So really fun shirt. Love the reds and the oranges and the blues. Always try and uh, point out the... Uh, tags too so people can see for themselves what it's made of there you can tell I've had that one a while that was Halloween time I can tell by the look of my fingernails <laughs> purple and green <laughs> but yeah so uh, $69 for three Tommy Bahama shirts not too bad for that buyer and for me the seller yay so um, the next item is a uh, NASA STS 107 post flight reports and tribute CD. Uh, this, I have a couple of these. Honestly, I can't remember where I picked it up. I live right here by NASA in Houston, Texas. So uh, I come across NASA stuff all the time. And this one, I received a best offer for $15. And then I had just taken a picture of the front and a picture of the back. And actually, that one did have a crack on the front, so I sent them an extra jewel case whenever I did mail this out. Since I advertised it was uh, brand new, and it was. It was sealed, but it was just cracked there at the top right. Um, yeah, Lonnie, anytime you want NASA stuff, let me know. Like, I have got a ton of NASA collector stuff I should list, but the thing is, you know, you just don't really get uh, that much for your NASA stuff. But I guess if I did, like, a multi-quantity listing, um, over time, the, those things would definitely add up. Like I've got like, you know, I've got like stickers and patches and I've got, uh, a bunch of the STS pictures, lithos, whatever they call them. Um, what else do I have? I have some of the, uh, the jewelry, you know, like the pins and stuff like that. So yeah, I just, I need to do it. I just haven't made the time for it lately. And here is a really pretty cameo. I've had this for a really long time, you guys. I think I paid $12.99 for this. I paid it big time. Did not even have any uh, marks on it, but I just thought it was so pretty. And I thought I could get a lot more than uh, $19 for it. I originally had it marked up a lot higher. But somebody did eventually buy it, so I was happy to at least break even and get my money back on that. And um, the next item is a retired James Avery Sterling Silver Sand Dollar brooch pin. This one I actually bought um, another lot online with a bunch of other stuff. And I maybe paid $20 for the whole entire lot. And I received a best offer for $40 for this. So I accepted that and definitely made my money back on the first piece that I sold from uh, buying that. Okay, so uh, Julie says, my daughter was going to work for NASA. She is a math major. Wow. She must be really smart. I tell you what, because 
all that math stuff, it's really, really hard. Hey, Carol, welcome. So let me show you guys. You guys probably all already know by now, but that's what the James Avery uh, Maker's Mark looks like right there. It looks like a candelabra almost, and there is a J on one side and A on the other. Uh, these pieces can all be marked differently. I've come across different uh, pieces, like some just say uh, Avery, Avery Sterling, Avery Stir. So, uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Always a good money maker for sure. The next one is a vintage velvet burgundy gold handbag perch clutch evening bag. I'd love to sell the vintage purses, you guys. This I picked up for a dollar at a garage sale. And it did sell for $24.99. So I just uh, set up some whiteboards in my laundry room on top of the washing machine and uh, held it up with my hands there. Tried to get some decent pictures of it. So I was happy to see that sell. Uh, this one actually came in a lot I had bought off of shopgoodwill.com. I buy jewelry lots off of shopgoodwill.com often. <laughs> so I love to get those lots. This is one of the pieces that was in that lot. Um, so the title reads, Antique Vintage Sterling Silver Sweater Clips Mother Baby Lamb Sheep Signed. And it is signed. So let me show you. It is signed, but I could not make out what it said. So definitely clearly right there in the center of the body, it says Sterling. But then if you come over here and you look up there, it looks like it says Mef, Mefler, Mef, D. I'm not even sure. I couldn't even make out what it said. So I just, um, you know, put in the title and the description that it was signed. And hopefully it wasn't a piece that they turned around and flipped for thousands of dollars. <laughs> so it sold for $32. I received an offer for $32. So I thought that was a pretty good offer. So I took that. Okay, this uh, the next couple of items I'm about to show you. I bought these at an estate sale. I paid $5 for these women's uh, fry leather booty clogs, mules, size 11. So, and they sold for $50. I have got a best offer for $50. I couldn't believe it. So, and I didn't even really have these that long. And this is definitely a good brand to pick up. They also make like um, riding boots too for motorcycles, I believe. Thanks, Carol. She says great keywords. So yeah, $5 into $50, not bad. Okay. So this pair I also bought at that estate sale. These were big people, you guys. They have big feet. <laughs> so um, these were also $5. They're immense black. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. I think I just wrote down what was on the shoe. Um, but they are Birkenstocks. Why isn't Birkenstock in my title? What was I thinking? I'm just now noticing this. But yeah, they're definitely Birkenstock, you guys, for five bucks. You can see the little insoles there, the little padding say Birkies. What was I thinking? I can't believe they sold. I got a best. No, I didn't even get a best offer. They they sold out right for that amount. So they sold for $49.99. Um, and I can't believe that I didn't put Birkenstock in the title. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's so funny when you realize these silly mistakes when you're live on air and it's too late to go back and correct it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, that is pretty funny, isn't it, Lonnie? <laughs> so, yeah. Always be on the lookout for Birkenstocks, you guys. They are my favorite brand of shoe to wear. Um, I'm wearing them. They're on my feet right now. Birkenstocks. They're so comfortable. They're the best. Uh, you'll pay up for them for sure when you buy them brand new, but they'll last you a lifetime. Well, pretty much a lifetime. Okay. Uh, the next one is a DVD. Uh, I probably paid two or three dollars for this at Goodwill and it sold for $13.20 with free shipping. 
the next item is another Hawaiian shirt. I love the Hawaiian shirts. Can't, you know, stop talking about those. Can't talk about them enough. I love them. Uh, so this one was a brand I really didn't recognize, but I thought that the shirt was so groovy looking and just so outrageous that somebody would have to have it. It's definitely Western themed. Uh, so my title reads men's Hawaiian style, Western cowboy button up shirt size large. And the brand is barcode. So you can see a little bitty, uh, hang tag there. It says barcode. Let me show you. Surely I have a better picture. Okay, so here it is. So it says barcode, and quite literally, the tag does look like a barcode. Uh, so I did buy this at Goodwill. And so that means I probably paid uh, $5.99 for it. And I received a best offer for $35. So I took that. Were there any comps, Adam? Um, I don't think that I did. Like I said, it had been listed for a while. So I just uh, went with that $39.99 and the $35 offer price was really great. So I definitely took that and accepted it. Uh, next item is a pair of women's flip-flops, Montana West Western Rhinestone Cross flip-flop sandals, shoes, size nine. These, I believe I paid a dollar for at a garage sale and they sold for $19.99 plus $6.95 shipping. Oh, yay. Carol says, uh, Lonnie and Tanya, I'll keep promoting your Poshmark when I do mine. Yay, thank you. I'll have to do yours too. Thanks, Carol. And Let's Be Happy Thrifter needs a mannequin. I think you did spell it right. I can never remember. It just always auto-corrects me. And Bougie Bear Vintage is here. Hey, April, welcome. Uh, Lonnie asked, Tanya, what are the best women's sizes in shoes? I would say I definitely feel like narrow is going to be a really long tail item for you. And also the smaller sizes in women's don't uh, tend to move that fast. Uh, but you asked what were the best, not of the worst. So let me start over. <laughs> uh, so the best, you know, I would say anywhere from... Uh, seven to 10 are really good average sizes that are women are buying. Yeah. Eight. Like I, I wear like a seven and a half to an eight. And I think that's pretty, pretty standard for uh, most women. Did I just say that standard for most women, like we're a product or something. Okay. I'm babbling. I need to move on. Um, next item. Okay. I know you guys, my pictures are not the best here <laughs> and I could have cleaned up these earrings and put a pair of matching backs on them, but I didn't. And you know, hindsight's 2020 or whatever they say. But these James Avery Sterling Silver Post Snowflake Pierced Earrings retired, uh, did sell. I received a best offer for $40. And you know what? I probably could have got more if I had cleaned them up and uh, put some matching backs on them. Uh, maybe some Sterling Silver matching backs for sure. Because, you know, if you look at the comps, the solds were selling for a lot more than just $40. And I felt like I was being pretty modest asking uh, for $75. But I still went ahead and took the $40. Um, hello, uh, Maya Stocks. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Welcome. Let's see. Okay, and so, yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah, and so here's another example of the James Avery Sterling. You can see it almost looks like the A has, has been um, cut off there. The snowflake to the top left, you can just see it looks like very, like very, and then it says stir on one side. Hey, Vanessa Chavez, welcome. So, yeah, that was a good sell. Thanks, let's be happy, Thrifter. So, and here's the next item. So this again, just goes to show you guys Christmas sells all year around. This is a vintage signed Marcy's Peter Christmas charm necklace. And I had it up for 40 and I received a best offer for $22.99. So I went ahead and accepted that. I've had this for some time. So this one I did experiment with. I took some pictures outside. 
and let's see if that picture would show up. It looks like it's outside, but it's not going to. So it's got teddy bears and all kinds of uh, Christmas themed charms on it. And right there is where it's signed. So you can see it says Marcy. I've come across a few of these pieces uh, in my jewelry selling days. So I would say her pieces are kind of rare. I don't really, you don't really see a whole lot of them on eBay. At least the last time I looked, I didn't. So yeah, really fun, pretty Christmas necklace. The next item is a pair of Puma Suede Classic Casual Sneakers, black, white, gold, shoes, size 5C Junior. So th these were definitely probably shoes for a little boy or a little girl. Uh, and I bought these for $5 at a garage sale. They were basically brand new in the box. There was no wear to them at all. I had them up for $39.99, and I received a best offer for $25. And I did charge up on the shipping because I was going to uh, be shipping an item in the box also. And plus the shoes, they just get to be a little bit uh, bulkier. You know, like I shipped a pair of uh, high heels last night and I went ahead and printed the shipping label, padded flat right, thinking they were going to fit. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I go to put them in the package and they definitely don't fit. So I had to cancel it. You know, you have to be careful with those heels. Uh, some of those heels require a lot of extra room, as do the sneakers. So what I did use was a, um, I was about to say padded, but it wasn't padded, but a flat rate. It's, I'm new to using them. The, what is it called? B boxes? What's that called, Lonnie? Are you still here? I'm drawing a blank. Okay, so the next item is a watch, a ladies vintage, Winger, Swiss Army wrist watch, blue face, non-working, silver tone. Uh, this watch sold for $20. I got a best offer. So that was good. And this, I think this came in a jewelry jar, you guys. So let me look at the chat real quick. Oh, goodness. Adam says, Tanya, did you hear Carol loves to pick up Christmas decorations as she hasn't put a Christmas tree up in three years? What? <laughs> Carol, come on. I leave. I have a Christmas tree in my kitchen that I leave up year round and I just decorate it for the seasons. Like right now, it's decorated for Easter. <laughs> so I just love Christmas time and I love the Christmas lights. They make me so happy. Uh, yeah. Hello, Michelle Lathan. Welcome. Uh, Michelle's asking if I have any of the shoe boxes. I do. I do. I need to order some more, but those are really good too. Definitely. And Vintage Discoveries is here. Hello. Welcome. Uh, let's be happy thrifter. The watch was not working. It was not working, but I put that in my title too. Oh, how cute. So April says she has a pink Christmas tree for Easter. I bet that's really pretty. Okay, so let me move on to the next sale here. Okay, was that? Yep, close that. Okay, so here is a Hot Wheels, a collector's guide book uh, from 1993. It was a paperback book. Uh, this was one of those things to where I it probably wasn't going for that much on Amazon, but I thought the content was really interesting. So I, I picked it up and, uh, put it up on eBay. And again, a lot of times you guys, I think if your pictures are really good, you can, uh, ask for a little bit more money and people will definitely notice your good pictures and pay, pay up for the item. I mean, it almost, you know, appears to them to be in better condition if your pictures are really good and, uh, you know, you make the product look nice. So the next item is a sterling silver James Avery modernist cross pendant charm. This one I paid up for. I think I paid either 10 or 15 for it. It's like my Goodwill that I live by. They they know what James Avery is now. That picture is a little blurry, but um, you can kind of make out the little. Um, 
candelabra looking design there. And it's in a tricky place. So if you notice, it's right there underneath where the cross uh, crosses right there. So I was asking $50 for this and I got $50 for it. So that's good. This sale though, if I'm not mistaking, mistaken rather, as soon as I got this sale, like I shipped it out right away, had it packaged up and ready to go. Um, had just left the post office and the guy messaged me and says that he accidentally bought it. So, you know, what, what in the world are these people thinking when they accidentally buy things? How does this happen? I don't know. I don't get that. So, um, I told him I had just shipped it and he said, well, I see you have a return policy. And I said, yes. And, and I said, that's fine. I said, you know, if you want to return it, once you get it, that's fine. But I haven't heard from him. So that's good. <laughs> Um, uh, let's, um, hello, Bill B. Welcome. And hopefully I said hi to everybody. Let's see. So let's be happy. Thrifter says, have you ever found James Avery in a jewelry jar? Yes, definitely. I sold a pair of, um, 14 karat gold earrings with sterling silver. They were heart shaped earrings. I found those in a jewelry jar. So. Actually, I think I found those snowflakes in the jewelry jar, too. Uh, Vintage Discoveries is asking if I use a light box. My picks are coming out terrible. I do not. Light boxes are very expensive if you buy them. Um, like on Amazon, the one that I wanted originally was about $250. So I don't really have that kind of money uh, to be spending on that stuff. What I do is I buy the brightest, uh, I was about to say typing paper, showing my age. Uh, I buy the, the brightest printer paper that I can find. And right now, I believe that is, I think mine says 94, no, 96 brightness. Um, I'll show you guys whenever I turn off the screen share. And so I lay that out on top of my washing machine in my laundry room, and I have fluorescent lights in there. So I snap pictures using my iPhone, and I do not edit. The photos at all on my iPhone and then I upload them to eBay and I use eBay's editing uh, software with you know that's actually built into the auction to edit my pictures um, thanks Lonnie appreciate it so that one this this next one this is a pillowcase you guys but i just thought that the embroidery work on it was amazing and somebody would want it uh so i'm not even going to try and say that but there was a little piece of paper that came with this i guess i forgot to include it but um like i said i probably paid two dollars for this and i got a best offer for twenty dollars so it went to a new home And I love to sell the linens, the vintage linens. So I'm always looking. Uh, this one is a vintage pewter cat playing with ball of yarn. Brooch pin signed JJ, 1986. Um, the, there were a ton of these available to choose from. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to try and get my money back. And that's what I did. It sold for $10 uh, with $3.95. No, I'm sorry, $2.95 shipping. And I forgot to pull up my Etsy sales, you guys. Dang it. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll show you guys my Etsy sales next time. Uh, the next item was a vintage 1978 Texas Instruments Little Professor Calculator Math Game Tutor. This little guy was super cute. I bought him at the same estate sale that I bought those shoes for five dollars, and I paid a dollar for this. And he was working. Could I have cleaned them, up, cleaned them up a little? Yeah, probably, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so I tried to show, show some pictures. You know, you can see it's the numbers are working there in the background. Again, I'm pointing like you can see what I'm doing. Good grief. Um, so yeah, fun little sell, little throwback. Okay. Next step. Now this picture is horrible. <laughs> 
I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this picture, but it's, it's you know, clothing is so hard to get good pictures, you guys. So again, my, my goal here was to get a nice crisp white background. So I tried to take a picture on a white, uh, that's some white fabric I have there. So this is a pair of Tommy Bahama Relax Men's Swim, uh, swim Trunks, orange floral Hawaiian size extra large. And I think I paid a dollar for these at a garage sale. And let's see, they sold for $19.99. And there's the back side. And then there's what the their little logo looks like. Tommy Bahama, great brand to pick up. Love their stuff. Oh, let's go with this book here. Uh, this book had an insane sales rank on Amazon. I think it was like 243, which means as soon as you list it, the book is going to sell. But for some reason, it was restricted for me. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, so I just decided to uh, get my money back real quick. I think I paid a dollar for it. So I um, listed it on eBay. And of course, uh, as you guys can see, I've got 9,026 feedback here on eBay. I'm really pushing to get to 10,000. So I'm trying to get, you know, as many sales as I can. So anytime I see these quick little flips for books, I always pick them up. Uh, really, I'm just hoping for a good feedback on that flip. <laughs> Another count, right? So that one here is a Houston Rockets basketball Adidas NBA red hat. And this hat, I think I paid probably about $2 for it. It sold for $14.99. And I've had it for some time. You can see it's still on the styrofoam uh, guide there that I have, uh, mannequin head. I've since then purchased a glass head uh, from Pier 1 that I like to use for my uh, snapback hats. And all of my hats, really. But I also have that really cute little aerial uh, red head I like to use for... Uh, Hats too, ladies' hats. Uh oh, Carol's busy on Poshmark. I'm getting notifications. Thank you if you're still here. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just trying to get caught up in the chat real quick. Uh, hello, Peace Thirty Six O One. Welcome. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, last item, you guys. This is a old vintage sterling silver religious cross pennant marked MWS925 Mexico. So there it is right there. You can see it marked. And I want to say I paid up for this one. I think I paid about $10 for this. And I uh, got a best offer for $35. So I felt that was pretty strong considering I'd never even heard of MWS and wasn't sure exactly who the maker was on that or, you know, what MWS stands for. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. Okay, so let me close that. There are my cells. There's, do you still have your little, um, your um, headphones on, Madeline? No? Okay. So, oh my gosh, what's been going on here? <laughs> so, um, that is my cells, you guys. Let me come back over here so I can see the chat with y'all. So, um, I don't know how much video content I'll be putting out in the next few days. Uh, Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. She's turning 10. So we are going to be going to Galveston tomorrow to celebrate. She has um, her favorite little place she wants to go down there. It's the um, Rainforest Cafe. And they have a, um, a ride underneath that you can go, like a little boat ride. And there's like all kinds of animals that move and stuff. So she wants to do that. Hey, Tammy. Good to see you. Uh, thanks, April. Um, so we're going to do that. And then uh, Thursday, my son is having his big surgery. So he has scoliosis pretty bad. And um, they are going to go in and they're going to correct that with some uh, some metal rods. 
So he will be in surgery probably for about six or seven hours Thursday. So it'd be really long and um, we'll be up at the hospital all day and I'll probably be at the hospital for like four or five days after that because <laughs> he has to stay for a while um, before he can come home. And then, you know, he'll be out of school for six weeks after that. So, but I have my lovely mom who's going to be available to help us. Thank goodness. So I'm thankful uh, for that, for sure. And all my son really cares about is the fact that he's going to be missing school for six weeks. So he's really happy about that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Julie. I appreciate everybody's prayers. I really do. Thank you so much. Peace 3601. Uh, oh, Madeline just whispered, whispered to me. She's not happy that Bubby gets to stay home from school for six weeks. <laughs> come here. Come show everybody your new haircut. Come on. Yeah, come here. Come on, don't be shy. Come here. Okay, well, she ain't going to come. We went and got um, Baba's haircut and her haircut today. So, yep, bring it to me. Uh, she wants me to open something. So, uh, that, but I do want to um, put out some videos. I was just talking with um, Lonnie Garage Flips about a video um, idea that he had for me that I want to do. And I've got a whole bunch of other ideas. And one thing that I wanted to make a video on and show you guys, but I guess I'll just do it right now, is like, I don't think I have any here on my desk either. But I'll just make one up real quick. So what I've been doing whenever I list my vintage jewelry on eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy. So instead of putting in like some kind of weird, uh, you know, message in my listing, that lets me know where it's listed at. So what I'll do is I will, um, let me find a small piece of jewelry. Oh, look, it's the butterfly brush that Carol gave me. So I'll put the piece of jewelry in a little bag like this. And then I cut off a little piece from a note card and I'll write, um, I'll write eBay, Etsy and Poshmark. So that way, and I'll put it down in the bag and that way, and then it just goes where all my, all my other brooches are. And that way I know exactly whenever it sells, where I need to pull from, uh, whether, you know, if it sells on eBay, then I need to go on Poshmark and Etsy and pull it off. And I'm not like looking at my listings, trying to figure out where else it's listed and all that. It just says right here. So I know, but I'm not selling this one. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. So, um, yeah, thanks. Peace 3601. I appreciate that. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but I want to thank you guys for joining me in the chat. I really do appreciate you guys uh, spending time with me and hanging out. And I just, again, I want to thank everybody so much for your prayers. It, it means the world to me. I mean, I'm right now I'm holding up really good, but I'm sure uh, Thursday will probably be a different story, but we'll have lots of family there at the hospital and everyone's really loving and supportive. So, um, we're going to get through this and it's, it's, it's in God's hands and Brandon is going to do great. I know it. I'm just going to think positive and um, that's, that's all we can do is just um, have faith. Right. Um, hey, Debbie and Max, how are y'all? Oh my goodness. Good night, Bonnie. She says it's 15 minutes before 11 PM. Oh my goodness. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.